of this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his fragile self. The self-loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Ah, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. Having a small problem, or perhaps it's a big problem. We shrunk the whole thing down. Okay, I've put the two into balance, now can we please move on? I can't attack the ghosts for self-doubt. Pelagius is finally ready to love himself and continue hating everyone else. <laughs> Got something to say? What the actual hell? <laughs> this quest is amazing. good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> you might find it less so. You see, Pelagius's mother was, well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned in a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. The objective here is simple, you simpleton. Use your wabaja to defeat the enemy while they do the same. Much closer to home. Uh, is there actually anything down there? Oh, I, c I can't even get down there. Okay. Never mind then. Let's go back to Shiogorov.
is he doing the fish stick? It's a very delicate state of mind. I've done it. I fixed Pelagius's mind. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am forced to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations. You're free to go. Bye. They've been known to change my mind. So, go. Really. <laughs> okay. Pelagius Septum the Third, once the mad emperor of Tamriel, now oh, so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. The trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Close. Check. <laughs> Check. Luggage. Luggage. Now, where did I leave my luggage? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, a little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Waba Jack. As a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> what the actual hell? <laughs> this quest was amazing. Wait, am I? I'm over encumbered. Why? Let's get back into our normal glass hammer, glass boots. Elf Embracers. Ring. Carrying capacity. There we go. Much better. Whew. I guess that... There's, there it is. A plast from Wabajack with an unpredictable effect. Okay, yeah. That definitely goes into our... Um, chest in white run Wait, did that erase all of my... That erased some of my key bindings, okay. Let's get out of here. As entertaining as that was, that was enough madness for one day. Now let's see. I don't think we have anything left to do here, do we? Um. I'm gonna keep going for a few more minutes because I actually started the stream late so let's have a look um. so nothing left directly in the city
But I think we do have some stuff to do outside. Oh yeah, we don't need to talk to Tari and we need to go to the warehouse. Let's go. How much does this warper check weigh? Ten. Yeah, we're definitely storing that be skies, traveler. before we go on for any um adventures. If it's just talking, we can do that, but... Vines bless you. May the ground. Why, hello, here to buy. If you have to ask the price, you might be in the wrong store. Alice, if love the outfit, she'll be placing an order soon. That's wonderful. You've done us a great service. As promised, the outfit is yours, and here's something for your trouble. Okay. Thank you. For your patronage. You can have that back. It looks ugly. I don't want it. <laughs> ah, now that's a fine sheep. And not mere dwarven, is it? No, that is something very special indeed. All right, let's move on. <laughs> I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. If you're looking for opportunities to make some coin, well, I'm your man. Oh, didn't you guys have a we are creatures few tents here? The north wind chills us to the bones. I thought you guys had some tents up here. Well, let's see. We're gonna talk to her. Finish that quest, store the rubber check, and then we're gonna come back here so that next week we can do all of this stuff. We can finally get Meridia's beacon out of our inventory, which has been there for like, I think since our third or fourth stream. So for about 80 hours or so. <laughs> it's actually kind of awful when you think about it. How much time we spent with that thing in our inventory. Oh, and I wanted to go and get some, um, I wanted to go and get some instruction in pickpocketing from, um, what's her face in Windhelm. Wait, we're already going way past where we need to go. No knowledge of who you speak to. Go away. Citizen. Let's see if we have anything on these boats. I'm not even sure what here is. Where am I? You're not supposed to be in here. Also, oh, this ship is big. Holy shit.
definitely the biggest ship we've been in yet. You're not supposed to be in here. You're not supposed to be in here. You're not supposed to be in here. Okay, I have no idea who any of your people are. But I guess I'm leaving again. Let's find Victoria. You talk to Ed Brothers. Fija has some words for you. I don't have time for anyone too lazy or cowardly to make their own way in this world. Hmm? Sorry, I was lost in thought. I'm planning my wedding, you see. So many details to work out. Yvette San asked me to check on her shipment of spice. Ah, yes. If she wants to pay the 2,000 gold tariff, then we'll be all set. I'm sure we can work something out. That would be acceptable. You can tell Yvette San her shipment will be brought up to Solitude shortly. Ah, there we go. By a manor. Now there's a fine hall. Up for sale, too. If you're interested, talk to the steward in the keep. There's nothing for you in the warehouse. So why don't you take a walk? What is this place? This is the East Empire Company's central warehouse. All of their shipments go through here. Unfortunately, thanks to some problems they've been having, it hasn't seen much use lately. Either way, it's off limits to you. What kind of problems is the East Empire Company having? How should I know? I work for them. If you want to help, I suppose you could head to Windelm and talk to Orthus and Dario. He's in charge over there. Okay, I wanted to go to Windelm anyway, so we can do that. Um, Winking Skeever's got warm beds and cold mead. You look like you could use both. Oh, you two good for nothings again. You talk to Ed Brothers. Vija has no words for you. All right, first things first, we go back up here and we tell this nice woman that her shipment will arrive. Then we get some non route. Go back to Riften, finally finish the quest for Ingen Blackbriar. We can actually sell some potions while we're there. And then we'll go to Windhelm. Let's go. If it's arms or armor you need, see Bayrand in Castle Dower. Got a good blacksmith up here. As I'm afraid I'm running errands at the moment, but please visit me later mm, at the Temple spice of Spice wine for you? It's a family recipe. The East Empire Company is sending up your spices. Thank you so much. I swear it's a fight with them every shipment. Here's something for your troubles. Good luck out there. Seems like a tough time to be wandering Skyrim. Right. Done with that. Let's go. Mm. 